Hey guys, this is Jack Spot from Windows Phone 7 Central. I'm going to give you a quick hardware and then a brief software tour of the brand new Samsung Focus. So looking at the front of the device, we have, of course, the very large 4-inch um, SAMO LED screen, which is very reflective, very shiny, and very dark, even when the device is turned on. And then, of course, we have the three dedicated buttons up front for start, back and search, and then some Samsung and AT&T branding. Moving over to the left side of the device, we have the volume up and down rocker. All right, and moving over to the bottom, we have the microphone uh, port, of course. On the right side of the device, we have the power button and a dedicated uh, two-touch uh, camera button that will actually take you to the camera even if the device is locked, which is a nice Windows Phone 7 feature. Over on the top, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the USB, micro USB charging and data port. Over on the back of the device, we have the Windows Phone branding and, of course, the Samsung logo and then the nice 5 megapixel camera. And the whole device is really quite shiny. I've got some fingerprints on it, unfortunately, but it's got a nice sort of bronze looking finish to it. It's really quite nice and of course over here we have a speaker grill. So let's go ahead and turn the device on and we can watch the boot up process. Alright, so of course we have all the manufacturer branding with the AT&T family map, my wireless navigator, so on and so forth, which actually can be removed if you hold down and click the uninstall button. Uh, moving over to the camera, uh, something interesting I would like to point out. So let's go over to the camera real quick. It may be a little bit hard to tell in this video, but there's actually a bit of a pink spot going on if you're looking just at a white background. Um, of course, this is not an issue for Windows Phone 7 or really any Microsoft-based devices at all, because devices such as the HD2 or even the iPhone have had issues like this. Um, so hopefully we can see some sort of response for correcting this. It's not a major deal when taking a picture, but it is noticeable if you're looking for it. Alright, so back on the home screen, it's nice to point out that the Samsung device comes with a similar customization as HTC Sense, but instead is called the Samsung uh, Now, which we can jump into. And it is not as pretty as the HTC Sense is, though some may find it slightly annoying. Uh, but here it has just some basic weather, some news that you can set up, stocks, and takes you right back to weather. A little bit clippy on the background but fairly smooth, nice and snappy, looks great if you're looking just for weather or just simple stocks. Alright, so that's just a quick look at the hardware and software of the Samsung Focus. So far, so good. It's been a great device, great experience. Uh, more comparison videos will be coming up shortly. And for more information, you can visit our website, windowsphone7central.com. Thanks for watching.